Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'll be demonstrating how to work a bell rib cable. This is a really unique sort of stitch that's mostly like a cable stitch, but in the process you also work an extra step that helps you to create these little cross stitch patterns like you can see here in my knitted fabric. Your written instructions for this technique will generally read something like the following. Slip next stitch to cable needle and hold it front of work, purl one, then skip one stitch and knit into the next stitch, drawing stitch up and over the skip stitch to pass it off the needle. Knit stitch on cable needle, then purl one, the skip stitch. So I think this is one of those techniques that's a lot easier to see demonstrated than to read. So let's see what that looks like. Generally, you are working a bell rib cable over two by two rib. And you know when you're ready to start your cable because you'll generally start it with your knit column. So your knit two of the knit two, purl two, repeat. So I had a couple of setup stitches here and now my pattern says it's time to bell rib cable. So we're ready to start those steps that I read out. The first thing we do is we slip the first stitch to your cable needle and hold it at the front of your work like so. The next thing the instruction said to do is to purl one. So we're just going to do that as normal. I'm going to bring my working yarn to the front of my work, insert the needle into the front loop of that stitch and purl just as we would normally. So we've still just left this stitch here on the cable needle and now we're starting to work the stitches that go after it and later we're going to come back and work this stitch. So I've done my slip stitch to cable needle, I've done my purl one and now it says to skip a stitch and knit into the next stitch. So if I'm skipping a stitch, I'm going to skip the next stitch, which is on the left hand needle, which is this one here. And that means I want to knit into this stitch. So the second stitch from the tip of the left hand needle. Now to knit this stitch, because it is not my next stitch on the needle, I can't work it as normal. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to insert my needle into the front loop of the stitch as per normal, but I'm going to keep my right hand needle on the right side of my work. So usually what you would do is insert the needle from front to back and your needle would poke out the wrong side of your work. What I'm going to do is push it through the front loop, but keeping it on the front. So hopefully you can see what's going on there. And now I'm going to knit this stitch. So as normal, Wrap the working yarn around the right hand needle and draw it through the loop. And now we're ready to pass this stitch off the needle. So I need to go up and over the skip stitch like so. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm pulling the stitch up and over. And now it's been worked. So now that I've worked two stitches, I'm ready to go back to my cable needle. So I'm going to bring that around so that I can knit the stitch and I'm just going to knit that stitch as normal like so. Hopefully you'll start to see what's happening. We're getting this little cross pattern here and the last thing we do is go back to the skip stitch and purl it and that is a completed bell rib cable. Let's go through that once more. So first thing to do, slip the next stitch to the cable needle and generally you will work the cable successively. So you're just working cable, 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 cable. There might be stitches in between. So just pay attention to what your pattern wants you to do. But in this situation, I am just working. It works out for my stitch count that it's just a cable after a cable. So once I finish one, I'm ready to get straight into the next one. So slip the next stitch to cable needle and hold it front of work. Purl one. So we purl the next stitch after the stitch we slipped to the cable needle. Knit the next stitch after this one that we're going to skip. So we're going to knit this stitch here. So insert into the front loop, wrap yarn around, and then when you're ready to complete it, pull it up and over the slip stitch. Now knit the stitch from your cable needle. Sorry if there's any noise, there's just a plane going on overhead. And then we purl the skip stitch. Like so. And then we have two bell rib cables. 
One more time, let's do it at normal speed. Pearl, knit, one after skip stitch, pull it over the top. Knit cable, stitch, and then pearl the skip stitch. And there we go. So hopefully that's clear what you have to do to do a bell rib cable. If you have any questions or comments about this technique, please feel free to leave them just below the video. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.